Hello and welcome to Building with Pear. My name is Dave and I'm super excited to tell you about what we've been building at Whole Punch. It's called the Pear Runtime. Uh, let's get it installed and we'll talk about it as we go. So there's different ways to install Pear. We're using NPM today uh, because you need NPM to install dependencies anyway. If you don't have NPM uh, or Node, uh, pause the video, do a quick search and uh, get set up and installed, come back and we'll be ready to go. So to install pair, we run in the in terminal, we open the terminal and we run npm install dash g pair. Uh, it is also possible to install pair from the website directly. Um, but as I say, npm is needed for the stuff we're gonna be working on. So now that that's installed, we can run uh, the pair CLI. Um, the first run of that, the pair CLI, will pull itself in from uh, from peers. So I'm just going to run this now, PAR, and then enter. As you can see, there's a, a loader showing in the terminal saying, please stand by. Um, pair itself is uh, uh, written, developed, and deployed uh, using the same secure peer-to-peer -peer primitives uh, that's used to deploy uh, any pair application, such as Keat. Uh, Keat is built on pair, and it is using exactly the same tools that we use to actually develop pair. So pair is developed and deployed peer to peer with pair. So. That's pretty neat. As we can see, that's now finished. So this application is called the pair runtime application. Uh, it has a system status uh, that currently shows that your system's not quite ready. There's a button that says complete the setup. So if we click that button, like so, it'll install uh, pair into your system path permanently. At that point, uh, we can close the application and we can go back to uh, the terminal and we can run pair again. If we run pair again, we should now see the help output. And at the top there, we've got pair init, pair dev, pair stage, and pair seed. In this episode, we're going to be covering pair init and pair dev. In the next episode, we're going to look at how to share our applications with peers using pair stage and pair seed. So let's create an application. Uh, I'm going to start by uh, doing make the my app. This should work in Windows, Linux, and Mac. And then I'm going to do cd my app to get into that folder. The, the folder is currently empty, but we can rapidly uh, bootstrap our project uh, by using pair init dash y. Dash y just means yes to all the defaults. So once that's done, there's some output uh, that says what's happened, uh, and we can actually take a look uh, in an editor to see what what's been put on the in that in that folder. So we've got an app.js file that has uh, just a click listener. We have an index.html file that uh, shows you, uh, that has a, a script tag uh, with, uh, that loads the app.js file. And then we have a package JSON that has uh, a main field pointing to index.html. So if we run this up with pair dev, pair will then load uh, the, the new myapp application that we've created from the file system and display it. Uh, as you can see, it says my app. Uh, we can click that, it becomes a pair. In the next episode, we're gonna be uh, building out peer-to-peer -peer functionality uh, inside of the application. So let's install uh, one of the modules we're gonna be using in that episode ahead of time um, just to see how it works. So I'm doing npm install Hypercore. Hypercore is one of the uh, pair building blocks, uh, a really essential building block uh, that we use everywhere for uh, persistence. 
of uh, peer-to-peer -peer state. Uh, once that's installed, we can go into app.js and we can import the module that we've just installed. Import hypercore from hypercore. And I'm going to just log that out, console log, hypercore. Now, if we run pair dev again after making that change, we can see that the DevTools window that opens with the application in development mode uh, has, uh, under the console tab, it has this output of uh, hypercore that we've logged. So now we're ready to uh, share our application with peers and have other peers run our application uh, rem like from, from each other, from other peers. And we're going to look at that in the next episode. Let's get to it then. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Pair Runtime Development moves fast. So come chat with us and keep and share your feedback. There's an invite in the description and on pairs.com. Remember, the future is peer-to-peer -peer and the future is now.